Hey y'all, welcome to CC's Texas Garden. So today guys, we are graduating some plants out of their little containers into their own big growing pots, which this will be their forever home for these pots. Now I love container gardening more than anything. I do grow in ground, I do hydroponics, but I love me some container gardening. <laughs> So I have these containers here in different sizes, shapes, and colors, uh, but they need to be cleaned out. So I got my water hose to spray them all out. And over here, I got some potting soil that I got from um, HEB. Let's see if I can lift one of these out. No, I cannot without ripping a bag. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you kind of what it looks like on the front of it, but that is some potting soil, native Texas soil. Um, it's good for in-ground and outdoor potted plants and good for pots, planter boxes, outdoor raised beds. So this is gonna be great. I'm going to be using it, like I said, for my containers. I'm gonna put all three of these bags into uh, this wooden container I have here and then just scoop out the dirt as I need it, soil as I need it. <laughs> and uh, so I'm just graduating a lot of plants. I can take y'all over here and kind of show you the ones that are going to come out of this little container. We are going to take these tomatoes. As you can see, they're starting to flower. There it's flowers. I'm taking these out they need to move out of these containers their siblings are over here which i had already put in containers and they are growing bigger so we don't want our plants to get stunted so we're going to make sure we move these out we also have cucumbers they're already sitting in our tendrils you know what that means they need to be in a bigger container so all four of these are going to a bigger container over here got a lot of stuff going on but what I need to do is move all these zucchini yep these are zucchini they need to be in their own container we have Swiss char and um, probably a couple of the broccoli and whatever this is that I didn't label needs to go in a bigger container also my ground cherries guys what I got some ground cherries going on they are looking fabulous so I'm gonna go ahead and move them to their bigger container I'm already seeing a few little roots at the bottom and these pretty get um, they don't get that big maybe two feet if that but guys I so in love with ground cherries even though uh, most people are not growing some right now are they pulling them up I drop some seeds so I can get some more of those so that is what I'm going to do I just kind of wanted to show you um, uh, what my plans were for today I'm gonna probably bring y'all back after because I don't want to take y'all through the filling soil and doing all that kind of stuff um, yeah so I just kind of wanted to show you what containers I'm using some of these are a little smaller and some of these are you know these are a two to three gallon I think this one may be a three gallon that is the range that I'm going to uh, use now some people put them in much bigger containers which is best you know to give them more room but um, I like my plants to go up more vertically and so I will probably have them with tomato cages or um, um, some of the what are the things called uh, the sticks to poles to hold them up on I'll probably do that as well but just want to let you know what was going on in CC Texas garden guys if you have not hit that subscribe button please do for you can see all the things that I do in my garden especially this is fall season things will start growing producing and we're gonna get some good harvest y'all i feel it i feel it i hope you feel it too all right have a great day okay guys i wanted to bring you back because um i wanted to show you what is at the bottom before i put the soil 
I just put some gravel rocks or you can put anything at the bottom um, to kind of um, let the water be able to cipher through there that's a bigger rock no <laughs> um, and then you put your soil on top of there because then uh, the water can drain through there just in case sometimes the soil can get compact um, if you use perlite you really don't have to worry about that but since I don't have perlite in the soil um, sometimes it can start getting um, you know kind of compact and so I've never used this soil before hopefully it's some good soil for it's Texas soil hopefully my plants be able to grow good in this with no problems now I would not try to grow this for my seedlings only because they do have these big um, pieces of I didn't sift it I could have sifted but that is just too much work I'm not gonna sift it and uh, so if if I was doing seedlings I would get like a seedling starter mix because these have a lot of uh, you know wood chips and stuff in there and I don't want my little seedlings to have to fight that hard to get up but um, I put rocks at the bottom you can put uh, some people put um, like broken up pottery or even water bottles or anything to kind of you know uh, give the soil something for it won't be so compact and the water be able to drain as it needs to so just letting you see that um, I got to fill the rest of these pots up